Hey name tags and welcome back to my channel. This is Ash from Ash in my PC99. So today I've got a rare treat for you, a not so distant blast from the past. I have a friend who did his MCP, the Microsoft Certified Professional Certificate, and after that he decided to build himself a gaming PC. So he spent a whopping £1,800 or $2,500 for you American friends back in April 2012 to build a gaming PC and I'm saying gaming PC because he did quite a few mistakes so I'm going to show you today what he did and we're going to see if we can improve on that in part two of this two-part video next to me is this Cosmos 2 from Cooler Master which needs no introduction this is a beast it's a monster it weighs over or near about 50 pounds just the case and with the components inside it weighs three. I couldn't even lift it by myself to bring it down the stairs from his place. So when I saw this monstrosity, I felt really bad inside and I, and I thought I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't take it. So I thought I need to share this with you guys and you need to help me out or help him out rather so we can give this computer some life. Okay, let's take a look inside, shall we? First impression, I have to say the dust inside the case is not bad for a case who's never been cleaned in the past four years. Thumbs up for the dust proof ability of this Cosmos case. Next impression, the color scheme is actually could be better. So you got some blue RAM, some red on the GPU and some yellow cables. So not all that. And uh, cable management wise, I mean, could be better. There's some holes that you could have used to put through all these cables. But I guess it's not too bad, so we could do better. Let's come a bit closer. Behind this stock cooler lives the disappointment, which was the 8 core CPU FX 8150, based on the bulldozer architecture with a 3.6 GHz base clock speed. This PC has never been overclocked, and he has no future intention to do any overclocking neither. It cost him £156 or over $215. Populating the RAM slots are 4 sticks of 2GB RAM making a total of 8GB from Kingston at 2133MHz cache latency 11 costing £80 or $113. For the motherboard he chose the high-end Asus Crosshair V Formula 990FX at £174 or $246. What should be the most important component of a gaming PC? The graphics card is the HD 7970GB DDR5 from Sapphire at £378 or $536. For storage, he went with a HyperX 480GB SSD costing £515 or $729. There's also a DVD player at £17 or $25, which you can't see from this angle. And I'm sorry, but this thing weighs over £50, so I'm not moving this for your viewing pleasure. And finally, to power this beast, we have the Cooler Master Silent Pro Gold 800W 90 plus power efficiency fully modular PSU at £147 or $208. So we're going to boot this bad boy up to see how long it takes. Right, ready? Ready? Go. The fans are quite loud at start. There we go, we've got some screen thingies. Oh, the fans have just kicked in a bit louder. Log into Windows, 26 seconds, 27. These fans down here are not cooling nothing behind the drive because there's no drives. Right, 39 seconds and 53. You can get inside. And already Microsoft is recommending, so we upgrade to Windows 10. So we may do this as a video tutorial. Let me know down below if you want me to do that. So let's take a look, shall we? What has he got? So of that, first, Right, eight cores, 814 megabyte being used right now as RAM. And the the sad thing is that he has actually put. If I can zoom in there, 
you will see that he's actually put a 32-bit system on this PC which means he's got only 3.21 gigabyte usable of RAM and the rest of the 8 gigabyte is lost so that's a shame um, he has Windows 7 Ultimate 32-bit I've just shut down the PC but the fan is still running so which means there are some configuration problems with his fans we're gonna have to sort this out let me just switch that off before we delve more into the software so I don't want to do a couple of things first my friend he doesn't even have internet at home no he's got internet on his mobile phone which is users so he doesn't use this PC for the internet at all when I asked him what games does he play he said he played modern warfare and I asked him do you play on Steam he said to me Check this out. What's Steam? Oh! Wow. So I guess he's only played a couple of games locally, not on the internet, probably from a disc. There are weeks when he doesn't even turn this computer on, not even once. And I ask him why. And he said that he doesn't need to. He's also studying some science class, but he doesn't use the PC for any studies at all, just books. And also the reason why he doesn't turn it on, he says because it gets too hot, it's very power hungry and also because he's got no home internet, trying to save some money, so the whole thing is trying to save him some money. Saving money on an £1800 gaming build or over $2500 gaming build. Saving money, that is ridiculous. So this is a perfect example of where you would misspend your money if you had the cash to build a really powerful PC but you should be using it and now that we know what we're dealing with in terms of hardware I'm going to tell you about the software side of it he installed Windows 7 Ultimate 32-bit which means that the 8 gigabyte of RAM is not being used actually it's only got 3.21 gigabyte of usable RAM so the rest is being lost and I hope I can show you inside the screen if I manage to install some screen of code on there there are also no productivity apps at all. The only thing I saw was a Microsoft Office Suite 2003. That's it. So you can imagine my horror when I discovered this, this bad boy. I felt sorry for the poor soul. So I thought I must share it with you guys so we can help him and give this PC some love. Now, I know it's kind of an older architecture. I mean, the case is magnificent. Uh, look at the size of this is a 22 inch screen look at the size of the beast the case actually I forgot to give you the price for the case he bought this for 308 pounds uh, which is about 436 dollars so the whole experience was over 1800 pounds or over 2500 dollars so what's his plans okay he told me he doesn't want to spend any more money on hardware but he wants it optimized and I ask him optimized for what so he goes he's going to use it every now and then maybe some light gaming and probably if he gets internet back he'll put it on 1800 pounds computer going to use it casually guys don't do this okay this is what we call an unbalanced and uh, an unbalanced gaming build you're not making use of anything if you're going to do this plus nowadays i could build something for about 500 pounds which would be a lot more productive than this which would allow me to game which allow me to even do some light uh, video editing or rendering. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think I should do with this PC? The only thing he probably would spend some money on is to reconfigure the fans to make it run cooler. There's a lot of things we probably need to do to make this cooler, but what can you suggest? So, so I want to hear from you guys. What do you think I should do or what we should do to optimize this beast? To make it more efficient or at least you could use it for some productivity tools what are his plans well nothing he still want to keep it maybe for some light gaming and maybe for some internet you know browsing if he ever puts internet back on his home network but he wants it to run cooler and without spending any more money on hardware which is going to be quite hard to do uh, he may go for a couple of fans if it's rightly configured and rightly placed so it would be great if you guys could come up with some ideas of what I can do with this PC and to help him with minimum or zero spending on any more money because obviously he spent too much money. Would he sell this? He said to me, 
that he would sell it only if he could get more money than what he spent which is going to be impossible unless some silly billy out there is going to be willing to buy this for a nostalgic purpose as for you the first time builders this is a great opportunity to learn what not to do in a first pc build so if you want to see me breathe new life into this while i give you some helpful tips of what not to do especially for first time builders in my next video do your thing down below and let me know peace out